probably already know, Neil Young is one of my all-time favorite singers, songwriters, artists, performers, entertainers, uh, philosophers, anyway, all kinds of stuff. And uh, we are going to take a look at one of his fairly simple songs today, Powderfinger, that, we, that is kind of just a strumming song with a cool little lick. A lot of his songs have this kind of stuff in them. Basic chord progressions with some just nice little tasty um, elements that take them up a notch into cool. Now we're going to look at a couple different versions. The version you are probably most familiar with came out in 1979, right around there. I could be a year or so off on Russ Never Sleeps. Um, now, and, he, but he made a lot of albums, so we're going to talk about that version, which is what you just heard right there. We're also going to take a look, though, at an earlier version that is much harder to find from an album that, kind of an unreleased album called Chrome Dreams. Now, this was an album that he started recording in um, 1975 after Zuma came out, and he was kind of on, he was on a roll, writing a lot of songs, recording a lot of songs, and, uh, Putting them, putting them down, but also sort of spreading them out, and as has happened many times in his career, he got a little sidetracked and did a project with Steve Stills, of course, that Long May You Run came from, and threw out a couple of other albums, American Stars and Bars, um, Hawks and Doves, and anyway, it, uh, and, and some of the songs that were probably originally destined for Chrome Dreams showed up on, on those albums. And a few didn't make it till decade, and a few still have not seen the light of day. One showed up on Unplugged, finally, in the 90s. Um, I think it was the 90s. Anyway, uh, but in this lesson, we're going to take a look at two versions of Powderfinger. A version in G, the way we've heard it on Rust Never Sleeps, and a version in E that is going to sound something like this. And in that original version, he didn't have the cool lick. Anyway, okay, I've talked enough about this song, and probably the rest of this lesson will not much be will not be much longer than this because it's fairly basic. Matter of fact, the first thing I encourage you to do is go listen to Russ Never Sleeps and see what you can figure out. In any case. We'll be working through Powderfinger over the next couple of segments. That was the beginning of a, a lesson I put together at Totally Guitars as part of the Target program on Neil Young's Powderfinger. And we talk about a lot of different things in this. It's a fairly simple song, only uses four chords, but he's recorded it in a couple of different keys. And so we talk about the version that shows up on Rust Never Sleeps and also a version that shows up on the unreleased album, Chrome, Chrome Dreams. So, um, but as the lesson goes on, we talk about very simple strum, which you probably picked up listening to it, and the, the little lick that gets played in the, in the Rust Never Sleeps version. And then some unusual chords that we hear later on, bar chords that leave a couple of strings open, the first and second, or sometimes just the first. That's what happens when you play songs, particularly in the key of A or the key of E. So if you'd like to check this lesson out, again, it's part of the Target program, along with hundreds and hundreds of other lessons. Uh, we have a lot of free lessons there as well, if you want to just get kind of started on it. But the more in-depth lessons are all part of the Target program, AARR. Uh, yes, our, our program that is available for a really small monthly fee, less than a half of one lesson generally in this, uh, in this part of the country. So uh, that's it. If you'd like to check out the lesson on Neil Young's Powderfinger, come visit us and be sure to think about joining the Target program at Totally Guitars.